what the heck is up gamers i'm literally so excited for today's video because i can talk about it for probably ever so today i'm going to be ranking the living communities in my school if you didn't know i go to bing i wore this sweatshirt literally just for this video so my opinions are probably going to be a little bit biased i'm going to enjoy making this video anyway it was just so fun for me i literally like made an entire thing of notes explaining like what i like about each living community minus the apartments i'm sorry i'm not going to include the apartments because i just don't know anything about them i'm going to start by listing all of them what I like and don't like about them and then at the end I'm gonna like rank them all in order of my favorites obviously there's not gonna be like a universal opinion on like which I almost said dining hall which living community is the best so these are just my opinions so to start off I'm gonna begin with college in the woods or CRW for short this is where I live I did not look out I will admit but now that i'm putting all my notes together it's really not that bad like it honestly kind of grows on you so the first thing that i noted it's in a pretty decent area as in like it's close to the union which is like you can do a lot of a lot of stuff there and it's close to like the dunkin Donuts side of the union so like if you want to get that you can very easily it's also really near its own dining hall which also has a library and i think that's like a double whammy like there's two in one although one downside about the library is that it does close at 10. it's still a really nice library and if you like need to print something really fast then like it's like a half a minute walk like i just go there sometimes for fun another thing that i like about ciw is that it's laundry room oh at least for my building <laughs> at least for my building the laundry room has like a lot of washers and dryers because i know that some other buildings like literally have like two washers in their room i'm like what the heck although i will say that some of the recently renovated buildings are actually really nice like i really like them so overall the only like downside i guess about crw is that like the buildings are kind of ugly <laughs> and like the the communal bathrooms are disgusting to say the least but overall i really like the location how it's really close to the dining hall and its own library and my building's laundry room and also i'm not doing this in order of like my favorites i'm doing this like i literally just looked up the living communities on the website and this is the order that they came in so next is dickinson i don't really have much to say about this but it is near c4 which is like the only dining hall that's open late and i go there pretty much every day so i would say that if i did live in dickinson like it would be a really easy walk and then from what i know and what i've seen the buildings are pretty nice and the communal bathrooms i think they're pretty okay from what i know, I've, I mean, I've only been into like not many buildings there and then one more thing is that like a lot of the buildings in Dickinson are pretty close to like the marketplace side of the union and basically the marketplace has like arguably the best food on campus I will say I mean obviously it's like expensive for a reason because it has like good food so overall what I like about Dickinson is that it's near C4 so it's really convenient for late night and also oh another thing is that it's close to like C4 is literally not just the dining hall. It has, like, a place upstairs. It has, like, study rooms, and you can print stuff, and I actually really like it there. <laughs> There's that, and then it also has, like, pretty decent buildings from what I've seen. <laughs> Moving on to Hinman. Okay, a lot of people actually really don't like Hinman. I know, like, a lot of people that live there, and they just don't like it, but spoiler alert, it's my favorite. Okay, so first of all, it's so close to lecture hall and literally like all of my classes are in lecture hall. Hinman is like a 30 second walk. Like, it's so convenient. It's also relatively close to the union. So that's another thing. Once again, like the marketplace side and the bookstore. And then it's also close to the Barta library, which does open until 2 a.m. And then another thing is that it's pretty close to the gym as well. Although that is the... I don't know which gym it is, but it's close to one of the gyms. Also, it's dining hall is... <sighs> we all have our own opinions, but Hinman is probably the best dining hall on campus. It has a Starbucks. From what I know, Hinman Dining Hall is the only one that has vegan tenders, which I literally eat like every day, which sounds really bad, but I eat them all the time. Literally, Hinman is the only place that has them. And also... I really like suite style living, so and I'm pretty sure that all the buildings in Hinman are suites. If I'm wrong, then I'm sorry, but... <laughs> and so literally just like everything that I like is what Hinman has. 
so that's why it's my favorite so overall what i like about him in is its location that's like primarily the thing that that makes me like it the best and then it's also sweet style living and the dining hall okay next is mountain view mountain view is actually really 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 pretty um but that's that's kind of it <laughs> it is close to app which is my favorite dining hall i know it made it sound like hinman is my favorite dining hall but it's not app is actually my favorite dining hall i just it's so pretty it's so it's so pretty so i think like mountain view overall is just like really pretty it's like kind of far from stuff though i don't know if that would be my go-to so it's kind of far but it is near app and it is really pretty. And it also has pretty nice lounges. You can like study there. Ooh. <laughs> so overall, I think that it is really pretty. I'm pretty sure it is more expensive though, but it is really, really, really pretty. The rooms are pretty big from what I've seen and it's really pretty, like I said, and it's convenient if you like App because App is my favorite dining hall and it has nice lounges. And finally is Newing. I don't really think I have that much good to say about it. It's pretty far from like everything except for C4 but still it's kind of a walk I wouldn't necessarily like to live in Newing I'm pretty sure it's like the most social or something but oh but I think it is close to the gym that's not for D1 athletes so if you go to the gym maybe that's like a nice little compromise for you and from what I've seen once again the rooms are pretty decent and I think I don't know if it goes for all buildings but the one that I've been in each room has like its own own bathroom or i'm pretty sure you only share there's no like communal bathrooms or there are but like you have like your own kind of i don't know if i explain that very well so overall i don't think i'd want to live here <laughs> and now it's time for my final ranking obviously i'm going to put hinman at number one next i'm gonna rank ciw oh also another thing about ciw is that it's also like pretty close to app since since it's i forgot to mention this earlier i'm sorry but CIW's uh, dining hall isn't open on weekends. Number three, I'm gonna put Mountain View just cause it's really pretty and I like App. And then four, I'm putting Dickinson. And five, Newing. So that concludes the video for today. I really hope you enjoyed. I had a blast filming this and making my notes for it. I learned a lot about myself in the process. <laughs> if you wanna see more like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye gamers!